Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I will be comparing two guitars that are basically the same but have different fretboards. So this has maple fretboard and this one has rosewood. The story behind these guitars is that I got my first Nags Chop Tank which is number 48, this one. And I fell in love with the guitar. It's completely, insanely incredible. It's the best guitar I've ever played. The problem was, whenever I broke a string uh, on a show, my, I had to change to a Strat or to, to another guitar, to a spare guitar. And it was always terrible when I swapped guitars and I was playing this beautiful guitar, this magical guitar, and then I had to go to a normal guitar. Not that the guitar wasn't that great, but uh, it, it wasn't as great as this one. So after thinking for a long time, I decided to buy the second next chop tank, which is this one. But it made me a little it was not comfortable for me to buy a second exactly the same guitar as this one because I, w I would then have two, two uh, very expensive guitars but two guitars that are the same. So I thought, well, I should order it at least statical, aesthetically different. So I, I got the Maple Neck, which I thought... I really love my telly, and my telly has maple neck. Would it influence a lot on the tone? That was one thing. And then I order it with a tremolo, because this one is a stop tail. So these are the main differences. The pickups are the same, Lindy Frail and Blue Special pickups. The electronics is the same. I have a phase invert here and a, uh, a blender between the neck and the bridge. But this one has the tremolo and maple neck. Uh, the body is hash and they are very similar, as you can see. This is a little light, lighter than, than the, the first one, but basically they are the same guitar. And I was thinking, I never really did a comparison between the two, like plugging it to an, to an amp and trying to figure out uh, if they sound really different or if they sound really the same. They feel the same. They feel the same way. So whenever I, I have to swap guitars, it's almost as playing the same guitar. This has become my main guitar since I got it because of the tremolo. I'm using a lot the tremolo. I'm loving to use the tremolo. Uh, and, and I'm using a lot more of this guitar. But I think the rosewood is a little spankier, a little has more bite. So let's let's just compare it. I thought, well, since I'm comparing guitars, I might as well record it and share it with you guys. So you can also let me know what what are your thoughts and leave the comments. Let's debate this this whole uh, saga. I, it, I'm doing this for me, for, for finding if the guitars are really that different, or if is is it a myth that rosewood neck has kind of a. It's not the neck; it's just a, the fretboard. You, you can see it's a slab board like a Fender Strat. So let's hear it on the neck pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. I immediately notice that the maple neck is a lot brighter, a lot brighter. Um, let, let's compare it in the bridge position, for example, with some overdrive. This sounds a lot more compressed, while the the rosewood chop tank sounds a little more like my telly. Let's hear it with a cleaner tone on the, on the in between, so bridge and middle. <laughs> Yeah, this is a lot warmer, a lot warmer. That's my comparison. Uh, I didn't knew, I didn't really knew, but now I know it. <laughs> and please let me uh, know your comment on below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how, how you feel about it. But to me, the rosewood is a lot more uh, warm and a lot darker. Well, that's it. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, share it with the world, and we see each other next week. Bye-bye.